Okay, this is a quick video tutorial on how to use 3D point cloud visualization tool. And I'm going to start with a basic operation on how to navigate through this point cloud. And first thing that I'm going to talk about is using your mouse wheel, using your mouse wheel moving forward and backward to zoom in and out. So I can just show you example here, zooming in using mouse wheel moving forward and backward is going to be zooming out. Next operation is using your left click and hold and drag. So doing a left click, hold your mouse and uh, move your mouse to the direction. Then the, you're going to see that whole scene is you know, going toward the direction where your mouse is moving toward. So this is you know, a pending operation. And next one is using your mouse click and drag. So using your mouse click and hold it and drag your mouse to the left and right to rotate the scene to the forward and backward to tilt toward that new direction. So using those in a combination of those three, I'm going to zoom in, right click and turn to rotate your whole scene and the left click to uh, and hold and uh, drag to to move your scene toward the direction that is going close using your mouse wheel to zoom in further and a right click and turning around then you're going to see that this is in a group of people who are participating a live UAV LiDAR data collection demo at the time of data collection and you can just uh, use this three combination to navigate through this in a point cloud in a way uh, that you can just go to the direction where you want to go to so this is a basic uh, navigation in operation of this in a visualization tool. And next, I want to talk about in a couple of measurement tool that you can actually use to get the measurement getting out of this in a point cloud. And uh, you will need to use uh, Firefox. Uh, this uh, navigation of point cloud, it works you know, pretty well with uh, most of the you know, browsers. But uh, I found out that uh, this measurement tool only works with uh, Firefox. So if you want to use this uh, measurement tool uh, use for your environment, uh, please make sure uh, access this page using you know, the Firefox web browser. So in order to activate this uh, measurement tool that is on the top left, there is a button over here. You just need to click to expand this additional menu uh, pops up or you know, that shows up. And there are, you know, the multiple measurement tool that is available, but there is two that I'm going to talk about today. First one is called a measurement tool. So first, let me just uh, orient this point cloud so that uh, we can get the height measurement done. So basically, what I want to do here is I want to get the height measurement of this specific tree. First, you need to activate this, you know, height measurement tool. First, you need to select the ground where you're going to get the height measurement reference from. So I want to get the height measurement from in reference to you know, this specific ground over here. I'm going to click and move your mouse toward the direction where you know, that you're going to get the height measurement. So let's say this is the you know, tree that I want to get the height measurement. And you just do another click. Then you just you know, move it around. Then you're going to see that, oh, height of this specific tree is 27 meter and 54 centimeter tall. And you can just still use your, you know, the navigation operation that, you know, that we looked at, you know, before. Move it around, turn it around, and uh, let's say, oh, this is not the tip of the trees. And uh, let's say I want this to be, you know, over here. When you just move your mouse over to this, you know, point, you're going to see that this red point changes the color. You can just click using your left button, and uh, you just can just, you know, still move it around and uh, let it go. And you can see that oh oh actually this is not the you know the point that I wanted probably this is the one that I wanted that you can just you know move it around and that the height happened to be 27 meter and 87.3 meter tall 27.83 so basically you can uh, measure height for any tree but let me just do one more example over here let's say I want to measure the height of this specific tree over here and first you need to activate this in height measurement tool click the ground point that you want to get the height measurement being referenced from and doing the another left click and move it around let me just zoom in further to see make sure that the point that I selected is in a correct one so let's say I want this point so that uh, we can get the height measurement that this happened to be a 20.93 meter tall tree so this is cool 
And uh, another handy tool that you can use you know, over here is getting a um, high profile. There is a menu called a you know, high profile tool. And what you need to do is you, know, you just need to click and select your starting point. I'm going to use your know, mouse, you know, left uh, button on the mouse to indicate this is a starting point. Move your mouse over to the location where you want to get the, you know, the height, you know, the profile being shown. So let me just say, you know, I want this in you know, a red line that is shown on the screen to be you know, displayed in a you know, the vertical transect. You just you know do another click over there. If you just move your mouse over, they're gonna keep adding new point. But let's say this is an own thing that you need, and you just do the right click again. That will you know tell the program that, that this is the end of the transact that I want to visualize. It seems like uh, there is nothing there, but uh, essentially if you just scroll down this uh, menu, there is a scene tab that you need to click to expand, and there is a uh, you know the button here. It says show 2D profile. So you just need to click that, and uh, you'll see, able to see that when you are moving your mouse over, you see those uh, blue and reddish and a sphere shows up, and uh, those are the actual you know transact that you're looking at you know from this you know 2D profile window, and in this 2D profile window you can zoom in and out to see those uh, you know the transact over here, and uh, using your left click and drag to move it around, zoom in further. And you can clearly see that there is a pretty good, uh, you know, the ground penetration that you can see, and use those, you know, ground point to generate the terrain model, and we can get the actual uh, height measurement being done automatically from this, you know, digital terrain model. Okay, uh, I guess uh, this is uh, uh, helpful uh, for you to use uh, this 3D point cloud visualization tool, and thank you very much.